Hi, I'm Eric from Simply Elegant Home Cooking. Today I'm going to show you a delicious Greek salad recipe. We're going to be doing a shaved zucchini salad with grape tomatoes, toasted pine nuts, fresh mint, and a homemade vinaigrette made from Greek extra virgin olive oil and fresh lemon juice. This is a simple recipe, but it's elegant and it's super refreshing on a warm spring or summer day, so stick around. You don't want to miss this one. Okay, so to get started, the first thing I'm going to do is to toast the pine nuts. I do this first so that they can cool before we add them to the salad. This is the exact product that I like to use, although these have become very expensive. So if you did want to substitute, dry roasted pumpkin seeds are a fraction of the price and they work well too. Okay, I have a small skillet that I've preheated on medium low heat. Important not to use too much heat so you don't scorch the pine nuts. That was a two ounce container. I'm gonna go in with about half. So that's about one ounce of the pine nuts. You just want to get them in the pan and you want to just shake this every couple of moments. You want to shake it around and we're going to let these just gently toast until they take on some color for just a couple of minutes. So we'll check back in a few. And you should be listening for just a gentle sizzle. That'll tell you these are at the perfect heat. As these go, you just want to shake them a little bit and you can even flip them just like that to make sure you're hitting both sides equally. Okay, and that took about four or five minutes. At this point, you wanna take these off the heat. They look perfect. You wanna stop short of a dark brown color. And once you turn off the heat on the burner, it's also really important to get those pine nuts out of the skillet so they don't continue to cook. Wanted to give you though a close up view. This is exactly how you want them to look on the color. That's when you wanna stop the cooking. Okay, so next we can prep the zucchini, and this is really easy. You can use a mandolin, but what I find works best is just a vegetable peeler. What you wanna do, you wanna take off just one sliver, just like that, and we're gonna discard. That piece can be a little fibrous, but next you just wanna take your, um, your peeler and just peel slices just like that. And when you start to hit the seeds, at that point, you want to rotate 90 degrees. Again, you want to take off a small sliver, discard that piece, and then just keep working it. And here's what we're left with. I find that uh, one small to medium sized zucchini is the perfect amount per person. There's a little bit of waste here in the core, but um, you, get a, you get a pretty good amount of volume from a single zucchini. So I'm going to continue with the other one. And you can just set those zucchini slices in a mixing bowl ready for the rest of the ingredients. So I'm going to show you a really simple vinaigrette using Greek extra virgin olive oil and lemon juice. Uh, but before we juice that lemon, we want to start by zesting it. So you can use a microplane and just gently zest the exterior just like this. And that's what you're left with, maybe about a tablespoon of the lemon zest, a ton of flavor in there, really gonna make a difference. And next I'm gonna juice about two thirds of that lemon and see how much that yields. And now we can add some seasonings. I have some sea salt, just a little pinch, some freshly cracked black pepper, and since we're doing Greek, I have some oregano. Now before you add this, it'll really bring out some flavor if you use your fingers and just break it up a little bit, just like that. And then you can add it in. Okay, and we got about one ounce of lemon juice. I'm going to use a two to one ratio of extra virgin olive oil to lemon juice uh, for the vinaigrette. Okay, and what you wanna do, you wanna take a fork and we're gonna whisk this, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the oil very, very slowly, whisking as we go. And I kept whisking the vinaigrette off camera as I slowly added. You can see though, that eventually took on an almost creamy uh, emulsified consistency. You just wanna make sure that you whisk that until it becomes homogenous. Okay, we are in the home stretch now. Now, one of my favorite ingredients in all of cooking is grape tomatoes on the vine. Uh, you can also get cherry tomatoes on the vine. And all you wanna do, you wanna rinse those and dry them off and then just use a serrated knife, cut them in half 
just like that. Okay, and last but not least, fresh mint. This is gonna add a really cool, refreshing feel to the salad. I have about 25 of these mint leaves, and what you wanna do, you wanna take, um, you know, maybe five, six, seven at a time, and you just wanna roll it up, and then slice it thin, and then we're gonna go through it again and mince it up, but this is a good way to start your prep. Okay, and after slicing the rest of those leaves, you just want to take your knife and work it back and forth. Okay, and now we can build the salad. So here's our zucchini. What you want to do, you want to add all of the tomatoes to it. but you only want to add about half the pine nuts, mint, and lemon zest. We're going to use the other half as a garnish. Try to get that in there mixed up as much as you can. We're going to mix it more in just a moment. Okay, and now we can take our vinaigrette. We're going to give it one final uh, last whisk, and then we're going to add a light coating. Saved a little bit. And now you just want to mix this very gently with your hands. We're using our hands so we don't break any of this up. Some of these ingredients, uh, like the fresh mint and the zucchini, they can be a little fragile. So you just want to mix it like this to make sure everything is equally blended. We might add a little more dressing, uh, but it might not be necessary. Okay, and here's the finished dish, plated up, shaved zucchini salad. And you'll notice I took some of that extra toasted pine nuts the mint and the lemon zest and added some more on top just as a garnish. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. You saw how easy this was to make. This is delicious on a warm day. It is going to blow you away how refreshing this salad is. And this is a recipe that you can take and customize. Today we did Greek. You could swap out some of the herbs and the olive oil, turn this into an Italian recipe too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Eric from Simply Elegant Home Cooking and I'll see you again soon.